All right, how about under the radar defensive player of the year? Let's get to the defensive player of the year. This is the crystal ball. We may come back to this when we get to the fall. So who do you think is that defensive player of the year nobody's talking about? Oh, for me, it's Daniil Hunter. I mean, this is a guy that had 16 and a half sacks last year. He's one of the best pass rushers in the National Football League. You look at him, his body physically, he's an absolute freak athlete. If he played in a bigger market in New York, at Dallas or something like that, this young man would be considered a superstar in the NFL. But he played in a small market um, in Minnesota. And I think, you know, having Will Anderson opposite of him, being in D'Amico Ryan's system, I think this this young man is going to continue to be great. Daniil Hunter, 16 and a half sacks. Well, I, I think he's got a chance to do some things. I think that uh, defense is going to be great with the Texans. He's going to be a big addition. I'm going to start with a guy who won't win it, but I think maybe should win it. And that is a guy that I know you love, and that's Antoine Winfield Jr., he gets after the ball. He makes tackles. He causes fumbles. He recovers fumbles. He's a leader back there. Todd Bowles knows how to use safety. I think he's going to put up some big numbers on a great defense, but he won't win it because, as you know, Rodney, they never go for safeties. But So I'm going to go with Daniil's teammate, Will Anderson. I think adding Hunter is going to take some focus off him. This young man, you know, he really just came into his own last year, and – now, having that threat on the other side, I think he's going to do some things. I think they're going to be ahead in a lot of games, and that pass rush is going to be a factor. And I look for Will Anderson to sneak into that conversation uh, with about maybe 12 to 15 sacks on a really, really good defense. Well, let's not forget about that boy Max Crosby out in, in, in Las Vegas. And now you add Christian Wilkins. He's a dominant force in the interior of that defense. Max Crosby had, what, 14? I think he had 14 sacks. Last year, he was outstanding. And the energy, who plays harder than Max Crosby? Nobody. I have not seen anybody play after play, play as relentless as Max Crosby. So what do you think about that, Jack? You think you, you like Max Crosby? Uh, Max Crosby, you can't do anything but like Max Crosby. I don't think anybody plays harder <laughs> than, NFL than Max Crosby. I'm just I'm focused on you guys, though. We were talking about the offensive side of the ball, Houston being one of the most talented teams in the NFL. Now you have two potential defensive player of the years. On defense, lining up on opposite sides, getting after the quarterback. That sounds like a formula. When you saw how many times they were on Sunday Night Football, already you're going this as a Super Bowl contender. The way you guys are talking, though, this feels real. I, I think it's going to be. And I think both of those guys could have great years because I think their offense is going to put up points. And they're going to be in big games. They're going to be playing in front of big crowds. People are going to notice them this year. I love Max Crosby. My question is, Who's going to be their quarterback? How many points are they going to put up? If they get ahead in games where he can tee off and rush the passer in the fourth quarter, he's going to do some damage too. But I just like Houston because I think they're balanced. I think they're going to score a lot, and I think they're going to be in some big games where people are going to get to see them. Absolutely. They are definitely a more complete team than the Raiders. But, you know, with Max and just how hard and his effort and and those two guys that, you, that we both mentioned, Will Anderson, I mean – that's that's a sneaky good pick right there, Coach. Because that that's a sneaky <laughs> under good the pick radar. Right there. Under the radar. <laughs> yeah. You think the Raiders end up being a playoff team this year? I've had that debate around here. You know, it's, you know, everyone's a little fired up. They had a little run last year. Do you think that's a playoff team? I think it's going to be tough because the division is so good. I think Denver's going to be better. They're not going to be a pushover team. I think the Chargers have a chance to do really do some damage. You've got always got to yeah. deal with the Chiefs. So the Raiders could be better and still not make the playoffs because they could be a, a second or third place team in a real competitive division. I agree. I agree with Coach totally. And you think about a team like the Indianapolis Colts, I think they're probably better than the Raiders. You get a healthy Anthony Richardson coming back and just the pieces that they've added on the offensive side of the ball. So it's it's a lot of viable teams in the AFC, and I think the Raiders could find themselves right there on the outskirts. Yeah, yeah, they'll be a great team that'll beat some good teams, but I don't know that they'll necessarily be a playoff team. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.